everybody, welcome back to the magnificent X-Plane 12 Flight Simulator. We know it is truly amazing state-of-the-art Citation X we have for it. But of course, X-Plane has always had one issue that we're always talking about, and that is of course, the scenery. I mean, you know, if you compare it to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, it can't really win in that case. Yes, they use this weird autogen polygon kind of scenery that is like auto-generated. We've got these weird buildings that are not really as they are in real life. That is a big disadvantage to Microsoft. I mean, they do it quite cleverly. You know, what happens there is that you download the scenery from the cloud because of course it's multiple terabytes, 2000 terabytes to be exact, that Microsoft has in satellite data that when you spawn into a flight is directly downloaded to your computer. x doesn't have a technology like that. Even though, yes, for the flight simulator, you've been able to download ortho sceneries for it directly to your computer. Like, for example, this is the California state. 167 gigabytes of scenery, which is a bit much, you know. I mean, I've got literally five drives of ortho data from the X-Plane days. Yeah, definitely not a very good solution, not as good as Microsoft. But everybody, there's good news. Because such a concept, the auto ortho concept, now has been released as a bit of a beta for the X-Plane Flight Simulator. This will allow you to actually download the scenery data in real time and delete it off your computer later on so that you don't have your whole hard drive full of files. You can just directly spawn to somewhere and have satellite scenery. Isn't that amazing, everybody? Auto ortho. So, here on GitHub, let's do a little bit of tutorial to set it up and just see how good it works. This file has a virus or malware. Um, let's not care about that. Yeah, that's a big problem about this software indeed. Yes, here it is, the auto ortho win.x. You just, you know, open that. No problem whatsoever. Here we go. It's opening here and configuring. Looking great. Something I would recommend to you is that you turn off your virus protection because normally it would just, you know, Avira just kicks this software out. Before you start, you know, using this auto ortho thing, which downloads your scenery, you have to download some scenery, which is a bit weird. Yes, you have to download these ortho sets here, which kind of like the baseline that you have to download in order to get this thing working, which is a few gigabytes to be fair. 16 gigabytes for Europe, 24 gigabytes for North America, you know, nine gigabytes for South America. Even though that amount is not even nearly close to what you would have to normally download in an ortho scenario. I mean, Microsoft Flight Simulator also has near like 100 gigabytes of things you have to download before playing. Yes, with a bit of editing trickery here, I've downloaded the scenery here. I've installed Europe and Australia so we can check out a little bit of the world here. And everybody, so we're ready to run. You have to just select the explain scenery directory and the image cache directory here. I've also just moved the .x file here into the folder as well. Let's go ahead now, close x -plane and try again spawning into this location and just see how does this look. All right, here we go. So in order to do this, let's go ahead and hit run here. Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. Yeah, let's just allow access. Nothing to be worried about here, as you can tell. And as you can see here, it's running now in the background. All we have to do is literally just spawn in to x -plane. It's really that simple. I mean, this sounds like an advertisement, I've just realized, but let's go ahead and just continue anyway. All right, Rendsburg Schachtholm. Very good airport to start using the scenery add-on. And here are the loading screen. Now, this is where we get to the weakness, of course, of this. Yes, this is something we already know from the Microsoft Flight Simulator. It takes a while to load into your game. It has to download all the scenery after all. Five minutes later. All right, so here we go. Welcome to this, whatever this place is. Let's just go ahead and see up in the skies. And yes, actually, we do have satellite scenery now working. We've got some boats here. And actually, this is like pretty damn high resolution. As good as Microsoft, to be honest. This is actually pretty darn impressive. You know, I didn't expect the scenery to be this good. It's genuinely all right. And I've genuinely not downloaded a single thing other than the Arta Ortho. Very great. And we can just spawn into another location, perhaps. Now, how about we go to uh, Norway or something? Where can we go? It's taking a bit longer. Yeah, three minutes of wait time. But that's pretty all right for having very good Ortho scenery, if you ask me. Five minutes later. All right, here we go. Welcome to Bergen. Let's see how this goes. All right, that is very much all right. 
that is that can hold up to the flight simulator actually quite easily. Something that is a bit of a struggle, and we can see it here already, is the trees. Check out the trees. They're not good at all. I mean, they've just taken the trees out of the auto gen, auto, you know, ortho thing. Which, of course, isn't nearly correct as, as it should be. By the way, check out the mountains, though. Pretty good looking, but again, the trees are bothering me. I mean, there's obviously trees in the scenery, but there's no trees in X-Plane. But I've got a bit of a solution. You know, while the auto-ortho is free, which is the most amazing part of all this. Yes, while well, that is free, the following add-on that we're going to now talk about is not free. It costs like 18, uh, 15 US dollars. Global Forest V2, which directly imports forest data and directly translates that into the X-Plane flight simulator and finally makes these forests look as good as they are here in the um, simulator picture here. Let's maybe go and check that out. By the way, yes, that add-on also is another 35 gigabytes, but I think that will be totally worth it. Let's maybe now with the freshly installed trees spawn in somewhere. Let's go to the Andorra airport, actually. That's probably a good idea. Five minutes later. All right, there we go. Okay, let's check this out here. Let's do Rel here now with the trees, and it does look pretty damn good. I think this... This is really good. Yes, I know. It doesn't have all, all the Microsoft Flight Simulator things. I mean, Microsoft does more than just having satellite scenery. And also, of course, has these buildings built with AI. Well, you know, we're still stuck with a pretty bad looking, you know, buildings here. Even though there are, you know, add-ons for that. But other than that, this can definitely hold up now with a flight simulator. Especially when it comes to, you know, having to download all this stuff. This is actually pretty good. This is, by the way, La Soeur de Gel, but no, um, it's crashed. But of course, we haven't installed a proper scenery for the airport itself. This is pretty much stock outside of the auto or throw in the trees. I can very much approve this. And uh, x has just completely died. Maybe let's spawn in somewhere a bit more exotic, perhaps Australia, and see how good the you know scenery textures are over there. So maybe go to, uh, what is that? Lord Howie Island. Meanwhile, the simulator is downloading Lord Howie, and let's see how this looks now. Um, okay. Okay, that's pretty much as good as Microsoft will give it. Really nice of an add-on. This is like definitely a must-have. Look at how good this looks. There's a bit of a representation of what it looks like in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Of course, there are trees here, but Jesus, that is absolutely beautiful. I don't mind this at all. Perhaps we can even take off with a Concorde. Absolutely fine. Nothing to be worried about. All right, full power now. Can we do this? Can this, does this work? Taking off into the Australian sunset. Absolutely beautiful. And we are now kind of crashing the plane. Perhaps we should spawn it in somewhere else. Let me go to the, the Uluru Rock or something. All right, welcome to the deep red desert here. This is the Uluru Airport here. AR is rock and it is really seriously red. The scenery is really seriously good. Nothing to be worried about at all. Let me go ahead and see the rock itself. All right, there we go. Gotten closer to the rock now. Check this out. Looks absolutely all right. This is definitely Microsoft standard. And, you know, this makes me very, very happy. Very glad about this. Let me go ahead and actually just, you know, spawn up into midair. After all, we're in the Concorde. You know, one of my main concerns of this, you know, add-on is, well, can you go a bit too fast so that the scenery doesn't load in properly in time? So that you're faster than the scenery loading times, and apparently there's no issues with that. Let me go ahead and uh, just go full power here in this supersonic airplane. And we also just, you know, kind of get a bit more ground speed going so we go seriously fast this is now faster than any plane would ever go than any than you would ever need to go and you can see here that's really funny you can see the old scenery that's now being replaced by the new scenery i didn't know that it was possible to kind of debug the simulator like that so in real time you can load up the tiles and it's happening right now and it's being replaced by the red desert and we are seriously way too fast faster than you would ever need to uh, okay, uh -huh. it's starting to struggle a little bit with loading in, but still, this is very much out of the ordinary, and it's so amazing that we have this. I'm seriously not going to always run this thing. It is truly amazing. Auto Ortho is something that can kind of save X-Plane for me as well. And we're so fast now that not even the original X-Plane towels can keep up with this. I thought it was going to crash the whole thing, but it doesn't. You know, this is actually really, really great. I don't hate this at all. Even Microsoft would definitely struggle with this. 
All right, I'm so glad that this exists. And, and genuinely, this is this is sounds like an ad, but this is obviously not a paid product. Truly amazing, the auto ortho generator. So everyone, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Deram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.